There was once a young boy whose parents were very strict with him and wouldn't allow him to do much of anything. He'd always wanted to play a trumpet, but his father and mother said they didn't have the money to get him one, although they seemed to be able to afford other things that they wanted. One day, the boy's aunt came to visit them and found out how badly the boy wanted a horn and how unlikely it was that he would ever have one. Sometime later, after his aunt had gone back home, the boy received a large package in the mail. Like any child, he was very excited about getting a package. But when he opened it and found a brand new trumpet with a note from his aunt saying she hoped he would like it and learn to play, he was more excited than ever and thought he could now learn to play. His parents, though, were disgusted and refused to let him take lessons. The boy begged and pleaded, but it did no good. After that, he wasn't much interested in anything and grew thin and pale. When the mother would ask him what was wrong, he would just say, Nothing, only someday I hope I can play my trumpet. One night, when his mother went in to tell him good night, he was dead. She screamed, and as she turned to run and tell his father, a little skeleton walked up beside her playing the sweetest music she'd ever heard. The father heard the music and his wife screaming and came to see what was wrong. He too saw the skeleton playing the horn. Then he saw his son was dead and went over to the bedside. When he turned back around, the skeleton had disappeared. The mother told the father that they were the cause of the boy's death, that they had denied him everything he'd really wanted and he was just too sick at heart to live. When they went out into the hall, the skeleton was down at the far end, playing again, but he stopped for a second and spoke. He said he'd be around to take the place of their son and make sure they didn't forget him. Then he turned and went back into the boys' room. No one else ever saw the skeleton, and most of the neighbors believed that parents were so conscious-stricken that they just imagined they had.